Hi, I'm Ted Dromo. I'm the author of Ultimate Guide to Twitter for Business from Entrepreneur Press. A lot of people ask me, when someone follows me on Twitter, should I follow them back? So a few months ago, I decided to do a little test on Twitter, and I had some very interesting results I'm going to share with you. First of all, I decided to unfollow everybody on Twitter and start using Twitter lists to monitor people and topics. I was following a lot of people, but I didn't know them. And a lot of people I followed using automated tools back in 2005, 2006, when Twitter was just getting started. And people said, use these automated tools, you can build a huge list of followers. So I tried it, I experimented. And so the result was, quality of my Twitter network really isn't the best. It was a lot of people that never used Twitter. They were early adopters of Twitter, but didn't really follow through. A lot of inactive accounts so it really it was time to really start over by using Twitter lists I could easily monitor people and topics and I wouldn't have a lot of noise on my Twitter timeline if you're not familiar with the Twitter list it's like a distribution list in email you create a list of people you want to follow but you're not actually follow them you're following their posts their tweets but you're not following them specifically so their posts don't show up in your Twitter timeline and like in Hootsuite, you can create tabs of your lists of very specific topics like search engine optimization. I have I've lists about internet marketing and people have lists about cooking. They have lists about all their hobbies so they can follow very specific topics or people that are experts in that area and they don't have a lot of noise on their timeline. So here's an example of the SEO list that I created. These are the top search engine optimization experts. So I have them in one list and I can see exactly what they're talking about, what the hot topics are in SEO that day. And I don't have other tweets mixed in there. So this is very specific to search engine optimization. It really saves me tons of time and I know exactly what's going on in the snapshot. So I had my virtual assistant unfollow everybody on my Twitter account one day. I had zero people I was following. It was very refreshing, kind of like cleaning out your closet. And I said I'd selectively follow people when I saw value in their relationships. So I follow thought leaders, I follow you know, experts in the industry, but I'm very discreet about who I follow. Because remember, when you follow people and they follow you back, they can direct message you and with the a lot of spam on Twitter comes from that. When they're, you're connected with them, they can send you messages and spam you. So once I unfollowed all them, my Twitter noise was gone. It was great. No more of those auto posts and endless motivational quotes and buy my product, buy my product, buy my product over and over and over. It was all gone. Then I looked at my Twitter stats using Follower Wonk, which is a great tool for looking at who you're following and profiles of them and your Twitter activity. So if you see, in early May is when I unfollowed me and look at how many people unfollowed me immediately. It was incredible. Interesting point is, as people unfollowed me, a lot of people followed me at the same time, which didn't make any sense because I just unfollowed a bunch of people. But it was, it was shocking to see that when people see that you've unfollowed them, they unfollow you back. So it's kind of an interesting phenomenon, but a lot of Twitter experts say you should follow everybody that follows you. They really believe in that reciprocal relationship. So it gives you a deeper connection. As you see, a lot of people, when I unfollowed them, they must be using these tools because they knew immediately that I unfollowed them and they unfollowed me back. Kind of a tit for tat thing. So as I selectively followed people, they would follow me back a lot of times. I noticed I'd follow you and you'd follow me right back. They'd, you get that email saying I followed you or you're using these automated tools and you're responding. But others continue to unfollow me if I wasn't following them. So they must be getting their daily or weekly reports from these tools. It says, oh, Ted's not following you, so you don't need to follow him. So I decided to do a little test. 
and I looked at people who were following me and I'm going to start, I'm just going to follow a hundred random people. I'm going to go through and follow them and see what happens. The results were very interesting. As you see here at the, towards the end of this diagram, I had a huge spike in people following me. So as I followed people who were already following me, other people started following me for some reason, which doesn't make any sense to me. And the number of people that were unfollowing me went to almost zero. So I followed people who were already following me. More people followed me and less people unfollowed me. So it's going to be really interesting to watch this trend over the next few weeks and see what happens. But the spike in people that followed me was incredible. I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but I just, these, that's the exact day that I did all this following of those hundred people. So I'm really can't explain it, but there was a huge spike and nobody unfollows me now because I followed people. So I've been over the last few days, I've been following more people just to see what happens. And I would say three out of four times that when I follow somebody, they follow me back immediately. So this means I should follow everyone who follows me and aggressively find more followers, follow other people, even if they're not in my niche market. So first glance, I'd say, yeah, this is a great idea. Everybody that follows me, I'll follow you back and I'll go out and every day follow 10 or 20 or 30 more people. So I build the number of followers that are following me. But what this experiment is really telling me is that a lot of people are using automated tools, so they're monitoring their network closely. And when they see people aren't following them, they want to have a reciprocal relationship, even if we're not in the same market. If we're totally industries that are totally different, we would never do business together. They still want to follow you for some reason. And there's tools like Tweet, Adder, and Social Oomp that let you see all these statistics about the demographics of who you're following and who's following you. And you can see who's following these thought leaders and you can go out and follow them. So there's lots of these automated tools that really help you look at your network and build quality networks. But a lot of these experts are saying, just follow everybody and let everybody follow you. Just build as big of a network as possible. People seem to see a lot of value in having a lot of followers, and I totally agree with that. But it makes you look really popular, even if they're not in your market. I agree it's good to have a lot of followers. But personally, I prefer to build smaller professional networks or targeted prospects instead of casting a very wide net. I really like to keep things small and targeted because I don't care about you know people in other niches or industries. I only care about people that I can help or they can, I can, they can hire me to help them. So it really doesn't make any sense for me to cast a very wide net. I don't have a huge business. I'm not in sales looking to sell little widgets to everybody or I'm not a recruiter trying to get as many people jobs as possible. My business, I keep it small purposely and I really want to keep my network small. I want to work, have a network of the right people instead of just a big network. Bigger is not always better in my eyes. And some people disagree with that, but for me, this is what works. And you have to decide what works for you. I really prefer to keep the noise down so I'm not distracted because it's just, you see that steady stream of self-promotions and advertisements. You just become totally dull. You don't see it anymore. You can blind to it. It's up to you. You have to decide. Do you want to build a big network on Twitter? Or do you want to build a small network that's focused? I and mean, it's, it's, you have to decide for yourself what's right for your business. And I'd love to hear from you. For more information, visit my website at tedpadromo.com and send me a message and let me know. How do you prefer? Do you prefer a big wide net or do you like a small focused net? Do you follow everybody that follows you? Let me know what you think and I'll share the results with my readers. I'm Ted Padromo and see you soon.